If it's gonna engage, it's coming again in the year. A couple of days ago, I got an email from a developer introducing his uh, new project. Uh, so the idea is very simple. Uh, you have a web camera that is shooting the wooden chessboard. So you can move, uh, so you can make the moves on the wooden chessboard. It's not a DGD chessboard or something. It's just a regular chessboard, just uh, which you want to be using for over the board play. So you have the camera that is looking at that board and using the computer vision techniques, it recognizes the position. So when you move the piece uh, from the source square to the target square, uh, it knows that you've moved a pawn or a knight or something. So from now on, you can actually play uh, chess, not looking into the monitor, but actually looking to this uh, to this board, uh, to, to your uh, wooden board, like as if this was an over the board game. And I know this this sounds fantastic, but uh, I really want to, but, it, but this, this is really true and there are several videos demonstrating the setup and how this works. And uh, those videos are good enough to introduce you to how to use this piece of software and the reason why I'm advertising this on my channel and by the way uh, well I say advertising but, but I'm doing this absolutely for free because I really love the project and really want as many people as possible to get familiar with this and I'm, and I'm also going to be making a post on talkchess.com forum as well to cover as, as many uh, potential users as possible because the, the product is very is very nice and it's worth uh, sharing with as many uh, people as possible so uh, here is the project, uh, the project source, uh, the GitHub repo containing the project source. Uh, so all the sources are available here. They are all open, it's free, so you can check how this works internally if you're interested. But uh, let me just read through the readme file, which uh, introduces how the basic setup can be done. And then uh, we'll go to a video demonstration actually showcasing how this works. Uh, how this works, right? So, um, program, so play online chess with a real chessboard, all right? So program that, that enables you to play online chess using a real chessboard. Using computer vision, it detects the moves you make on a chessboard. After that, if it's your turn to move in the online game, it will make the necessary clicks to make the move, right? Uh, turn off uh, all the animations and extra features to keep chessboard of online game as simple as possible. You can skip this step if you're if you're in, if you render the Lee Chess API access token, which is self-explanatory really. Take screenshots of chessboard of online game at starting position, one uh, for when you play white and one for when you play black, and save them as white.jpg and black.jpg. Similar to the images included in the source code, uh, you can skip uh, this step if you enable find chessboard of online game without template images, uh, uh, option or enter your Lee Chess API access token. So yeah, uh, a couple of uh, like d d different ways of doing the, the same thing are available, which is cool. Enable auto promotion to queen uh, from settings of online game. You can skip this step if you render Lee Chess access token. So yeah, it's really easier just to, to have, just obtain this Lee Chess API access token and not getting bothered by the, the vast majority of steps. But anyway, then, uh, so here is the most essential one, I believe. So place your web camera uh, near uh, to your chessboard so that all the squares and pieces can be clearly seen by it. And here is a screenshot that like, shows how exactly this should be done, right? Remove all the pieces from your chessboard. This is essential. Run board calibration .bind. Alternative, you, alternative, you can click board calibration button in the GUI. It also has a very nice GUI, which is absolutely fascinating, right? Uh, check the corners of your chessboard uh, are correctly detected by board calibration. Bind. Press the Q to save detected chessboard corners. Uh, you don't need to manually select chessboard corners. It should automatically detect by the program, be detected by the program. Uh, the square covered with points 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1 should be A8. You can rotate the image by pressing R to adjust that example chessboard detection result is here. So here is the screenshot showcasing how the end result of board calibration is intended to look like. Well, not the best ever quality. Uh, but still, it's pretty clear, I believe, so what it should be uh, at the very end. 
All right, and then uh, know that constants bin file is created or modified. So uh, it's probably some sort of, sort of an internal file uh, like keeping track of, of the board state, I believe. All right, so the usage, uh, place the pieces of the chessboard on their starting positions, then start the online game, run main.py, and alternatively start a game uh, but in the GUI, switch to the online game so that uh, program detects chessboard of online game. Uh, you have five seconds to do this step. You can skip this step if you enter <laughs> the chess token. Okay, wait until program says game started. Uh, make you move it if it's your turn, otherwise, make opponents move. So, uh, what you need to do as well, so you need to uh, manually like take the pieces of opponent on your wooden board and make them because otherwise yeah, it won't be like there is no robotic hand that would be doing this for you it's not yeah it's not intended by this project yeah i'm just joking okay uh notice that program actually makes your move on the internet game if it's your turn otherwise wait until program says starting and ending scores of opponent's move and then go back to the step six to make your own move and here is the introduction introduction to the gui so you can run gui python with the gui you can use it to do steps the setup and usage sections and customize how you use the software so yeah uh this is really uh really outstanding thing and bear in mind it's free and open source it makes it really tremendous i would say so yeah let's quickly have a look uh at the frequently asked questions and then we'll go directly to the demonstration of how this works uh on the real board well unfortunately i don't have a wooden board uh and uh, uh my my web camera is uh, in the laptop so i don't have a separate web camera since i just i can't really uh, try this at home but uh when i saw how it works it was really fascinating and fantastic and pros pro i me personally i better i, I just like uh i don't like uh, the real board and uh if i play over the board i play worse chess if i play as opposed to if i play online and see the position of the monitor it's just easier for me to uh, realize the position when I see this in the monitor, but but many people really like to work with a real board So this program is really for them, right? So uh, what is the program doing how it works? Well, very interesting. So it tracks your chessboard via web camera You should place it on top of your chessboard Make sure there is enough light in the environment and all the squares are clearly visible uh, visible So this is important uh, when you make a move on your chessboard it understands the move you made and transfers it to the GUI by simulating mouse clicks. It clicks starting and ending squares of your move. This way, using your chessboard, you can play chess in any chess program, either websites like leechess.org, chess.com, or desktop site, uh, or desktop programs like Fritz, Fritz Chess Master, etc. Uh, yeah, th this is very similar to uh, what I've been doing once. Uh, once I've been doing. Uh, uh, chess bot that was uh, relying on the com computer revision as well but the difference was uh, it was doing literally the same but there was no detection of the real board it was only uh, relying on uh, on the board image so it was doing some image detection and recognition I have a video about that somewhere on the channel so yeah if someone is interested I can, I can give you a link just ask me in the commentaries uh, but this is, is truly the next step because uh, a part of just uh, mim mimic this clicks it also really like uh, uh, recognizes the position from from the web camera which is not that trivial to do I would say yeah so placing the web camera on top of the chessboard sounds difficult can I put my laptop aside with the web, uh, with the webcam uh, in the laptop display yes you can do that uh, with a small chessboard however placing webcam on the top of chessboard is recommended personally uh, while using the program, I'm putting my laptop aside and it gives out moves via chess GUI and shows the clocks. Instead of using web laptops, webcam, I disable it and use my old uh, Android phone's camera as webcam using an app called DroidCam. I place my phone somewhere enough, a uh, bookshelf for instance. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. This is what I would be doing. <laughs> okay, so that all the squares uh, and pieces can uh, be clearly seen by it. How well it works uh, using this software I'm able to make up uh, to 100 moves uh, 15 plus 10 rapid online game without getting any errors which is very, which is very uh, solid right 
if I use uh, the two XF files uh, and not the Py files, where do I have to store the new file GPG and uh, YGPG and BlackGPG? If you use uh, two XF uh, files, yes, yeah, probably the, some Windows specific stuff. I don't, I don't have Windows and never use it, but well, most most of you watching this are probably on Windows, so this this might be interesting to you as well. So you should create a folder a folder. Uh, for them and put the two XF files, YGPG and BlackGPG, into files into that folder. I'm getting an error. Move registration failed. Please redo your move. What is the problem? Problem. So program asks you to redo your move because uh, it understood that uh, you made a move. However, it failed to figure out which move you made. This can happen if your board calibration is incorrect or color of your pieces are very similar to the color of your squares. Okay, if later uh, is the case, you will get this error message when playing white pieces to light squares or black pieces to dark squares. Yes, it's very, uh, very helpful, I believe. Why takes forever to detect corners uh, on the chessboard? It should detect corners. Uh, of the chessboard almost immediately please do not spend any time waiting for it to detect corners of the chessboard uh if it can detect corners of your chessboard almost immediately this means that it can see your chessboard well from the position angle placing your web camera somewhere a bit higher or lower might solve the issue okay so and the list of the libraries been involved so python python open cv by chess python chess by auto gui so uh this one is used to uh, perform this uh, visual recognition of the chessboard. Python Chess is a library for the internal board chessboard representation. PyOdo GUI allows you to mimic the clicks from the source square to the target square. Uh, I have no idea what the MSS is. NumPy is the mass library. Uh, and yeah, and these guys, to be honest, I have no idea what these libraries do, but it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, guys, so now without further ado, let's actually have a look at the test game. Uh, there are several videos available uh, here, and they also show how to make, how to reproduce the steps on uh, kind of like uh, setting up the environment, right? But I just don't really want to be, uh, I just don't really want to waste your time for that. You can watch this in the original videos. There are there are quite a few videos available. Um, uh, I'll, you can see the videos uh, demonstrating this here uh, within the readme file right and i just want to demonstrate of how how this looks how this works so uh here is the how the web camera is uh, seeing the board all right so this is how the web camera sees the board right and uh this this is the online the, this is the on, on, online game and this is the gui for this app so uh, in this case they're using the GUI, right? So let's have a look. All right. Game started. So game started. So it makes the move on a real board. Pawn E2 to E4. And the pawn is pawn moved C7 to C6. here as well. So he moves the mo the pawn for the opponent. C7, right? C6. And plays the move. And you see, like, what is pawn really cool about E4. this, what is really cool is that uh, while once he makes a move, to uh, to the certain square, uh, then the GUI uh, actually th this kind of program uh, recognizes that move and adjusts the position in uh, in your online game quite nicely. So just what has been claimed is kind of working, and there are really several videos showcasing this sort of a thing. So uh, I really believe this is worth trying. Uh, and again, like just to have a bit more idea of how the setup works. And this is specific to Windows platform, which I believe is gonna be useful for you guys. Well, I'm on Linux, this doesn't make any sense to me, but for you, this might be making perfect sense. So feel free to watch these videos on how to set up the program, how to test it, some different modes of using this. And this is gonna be really cool. And, and, and again, like uh, how the, uh, uh, what your web camera sees should look like, how the frame of the web camera should look like. So th th this is really cool. And I highly encourage you guys to try this at home. And thanks to the developer, thanks to, I okay, forgot the guy's name, sorry. Thanks to, uh, okay, Alper Karyam, uh, Alper Karyaman. 
Okay, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing uh, the name wrong though, but anyway. So, uh, a very, a very cool work, uh, like nice job, <laughs> good work. Yeah, so try this and let me know in the comments whether it worked for you and how did you enjoy using this sort of an application. And if you have any questions in regards to support, then I believe that the issues table, the, the issues is just right, is, is the right place to, con to contact the developer because I'm not the developer of this uh, software. I'm just kind of like advertising this software for free. <laughs> know that as well. So yeah, uh, because I really want you to try this. Okay, guys, this is it from my side. So hope you learned something interesting out of this video. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, and take care.